Hello, Dominic here with a short introduction to Modo's Jitter tool found on the Deform tab. Right click over here and choose Jitter. Now first of all I'm going to subdivide my cube over here. Shift D to subdivide polygons. Shift D, faceted, OK. Shift D, OK. Now select Jitter. And now I can click in the, and drag in the viewport. And since enable X, Y and Z are on, you will see that it has an effect on all axes. And what exactly does the Jitter tool do? Well, it repositions my vertices according to a range value, meaning that all vertices are going to be transformed with a maximum of this value. So right now it's 48 millimeters, so all vertices will be repositioned maximal, maximally 48 millimeters. That means, of course, that not all vertices are going to be transformed with that same number just randomizes according to a certain seed and you can adjust that seed now in this instance it's not very useful but let's say I have two identical objects and I want them both to have a randomized look but with the same ranges then I can give the jitter for the second cube a different seed so then the maximum values will be the same but the appearance will be different because of this different seat over here. I can set it to slip UVs to not affect my UV mapping and over here I have morph and I can set it to non-transform or keep positions and this means that when I, set, I have, if I have a morph map on my cube and I set it to none then the jitter is not going to affect the morph data and unless the morph map is selected of course if you have a selected morph map and you do the jitter then your jitter is going to be your morph data of course when I set it to transform then my morph data is transformed along with the base mesh and when I set it to uh, key positions then the morph data is converted into an absolute morph map and all vertices retain their pre-transformed positions so if you want to find out the differences between them I suggest you experiment with a mesh that has a morph map on it and see actually the differences so this is a short introduction to Modo's Jitter tool so I've explained that when I click and drag I can interactively do the jitter but you, ha you will have to experiment a bit with it because as you see when I set this one back to zero now I don't get my original cube this is because um, my previous jitters when I clicked and dragged they already have been set as you will and when I now enable uh, disable X and disable Z and click and drag it's only going to do it in Y and when I set it back to zero on, on all axes again you see it does not revert to its default state it reverts to its previous jitter amount I can also give a certain axis only by uh, dragging and sliding these numbers so experiment a bit with it the simplest is I'm going to drop the tool control Z to undo to my default state and the simplest is to simply if you want a jitter amount on a certain axis to only give it that jitter amount I also have to click in the viewport to activate it you see it's back to zero and now when I drag so play around with it a bit pretty straightforward but the tool is not always as easy to use as it first sounds because first clicking in the viewport activated it reverts to zero now I can choose these numbers or I can click and when I click again you see the range numbers went back to zero and now it jitters so very useful tool but not always as straightforward to use but anyways not too difficult hope you find it useful this was dominic bye for now